President Cyril Ramaphosa has signed the National Minimum Wage Bill, which is expected to benefit about 6 million workers that currently end below 3,700 a month when it comes to into effect on the 1st of January next year. The minimum wage law, which was formulated at the National Economic Development and Labor Council, NETLEC, has been in the works since 2015 with parties agreeing to set the min uh, minimum hourly wage rate of about 20 rands in 2017. Its initial implementation date was pushed from May the 1st following a series of challenges during the bill's drafting period. Meanwhile, employers who are unable to pay the minimum wage due to constraints in their businesses will be eligible for exemptions. But we take a look at this minimum wage bill with Tembingo Simkalipi. He is the chief director responsible for labor standards at the Department of Labor and he joins me now live in our studios in Johannesburg. Good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for coming through. Good afternoon, Patti and Good afternoon to your viewers. Yeah, so you and I we're having this conversations, uh, conversation and calculations, of course, of AS2. Are we talking about between 3,500 and 3,700 per month? And you said no, we need to calculate it based on the hours that employees work. It is important, Palissa, that people should, and workers should understand that in terms of the minimum wage, you get paid in terms of the hours that you work. Mm. If you work, and then the minimum wage is clear that nobody should be paid less than four hours. Therefore, you've got a guarantee of four hours uh, per day. If you work one hour, you'll be paid four hours. Mm -hmm. If you work two hours, you'll be paid four hours. If you work three, you'll be paid four. Mm -hmm. If you work four, you'll be paid four hours. Yeah. Uh, if you work five, then you'll be paid five hours. But nobody will be paid less, less than, than four, hours. four hours. That's the yes. most important thing. Now, if you work for more than that, if you work eight hours, you'll be paid for those eight hours that you've worked for. If you work nine hours a day, you'll be paid for not those nine hours that you work for. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do the calculation. When we publish, the, the, when on the 1st of May, 1st of January comes, the minister will publish regulations that allow and explain uh, at the calculation in terms of if you get paid on monthly, this is the salary that will end if you, if you work so many hours. Mm. If you work so many hours, this is salary and we'll fake it out and all of that will be published and uh, companies will publish that uh, in their notice board so that workers should understand exactly what is a minimum yeah. wage. All right, so if you work less than eight hours, obviously your salary at the end of the month would be less. And this minimum wage has been reacted by other unions like NUMSA who are saying this is a slave wage. If my memory serves me well, President Ramaphosa uh, in the past has also <coughs> said this is not a living wage. So how, how was this 20 rands an hour arrived at? Well, the issue that we look at, I mean, we look at what's the level that we can introduce that will take many people out of poverty, as you said in your introduction, that this will take six million people and out of poverty. And who are those, the I six mean, million that you're you, talking you about? Take, you're talking about people that are in the labor market who are earning far less than 20 rand. People working in the furniture industry, the furniture that we're sitting in, they pick at like about 14, 14 rand an hour. People working in many other industries out there that are doing jobs are earning less than 20 rand. Therefore, this is going to take them out of poverty into the 20 rand. But remember, there are exclusion in this. Domestic workers will still be 20, 15 rand an hour. They are not going to be 20 rand an hour. Farm workers will be at 18 rand an hour. Therefore, those two sectors... But why is it the case? Why is it not uh, 20 rand an hour across the board? That was the intention initially that we need to make it 20 rand ac across the board. But remember, as I've said, that we've taken 20 rand because we consider what will be the effects on jobs. Because it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. If we say people must get 20 rand an hour and then out of that, million people lose their jobs mm -hmm. because of the wages that they are getting. It doesn't help. But the them. reality is this 20 rand an hour is still not enough. The That's reali the reality. But remember, remember how it works. In all countries of the world, you've got a minimum wage. And collective bargaining, I mean, let's come back to the issue that trade unions, there are trade unions that are criticizing this. This is not the end. It is expected that trade unions must use their power and their negotiation skills to negotiate above this. Therefore, nothing stops trade unions go out and organize workers and do their job and organize more than, if they want 4,500 4, 4, a month, 
nothing prevent them in negotiating that and reaching those agreements. All right, we've run off, out of time, but I want you to talk to us about employers who will not be able to pay this 20 rands an hour come the 1st of January next year. Uh, the department says that they will be eligible for exemptions. Talk to us about that. In terms of the law itself, the law allows employers who cannot afford. This but is how important. do you know that as an employer I cannot, I cannot afford well, that 20 well, rents? The regulation, I mean, if you remember during uh, last year we published regulation that indicate what type of information the employers need to produce, give to the department for the department to be able to determine uh, how much uh, uh, an employer, whether the employer can afford. We've developed a system that will work on a similar basis as the SARS system in terms of IR tax, where you submit your RP5 and the system tells you whether you've got money owing to you or not, or whether you must pay tax. The same system is going to apply when the employer supply the information. I'm afraid time constraints. We have to leave it at that. But thank you so much for coming through. We'll extend an invitation closer to the 1st of January next year to have a deeper you know, conversation based on this. Thank you so much for coming through. Thank you.